when you get this brand new controller, the screen is blank. You will need one AAA battery to power on the clock so you can start program the controller. There. Now you see, it's all preset at zero and preset on Monday and preset at uh, pretty much all on the auto. Auto means you can program the controller it'll go on at the specific time you desire. Now when first thing you do you need to set a clock. The way to set a clock is hold the clock button down and then see hour, minute, and week. You can start by setting the week. Today is a Monday. You can you can punch this button here. See this Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so forth until the correct day of the week appears on the top. And then keep holding this clock button down. You can set the hour. It's very easy. Now, one thing to remember this control hours is from 0 to 24. It's like a military time setting. So if time right now, say it's 11.40 in the morning, I will keep, now keep this button, hold it down the whole time and then punch this hour button until 11 and then it's minute is 40 and then you just adjust the minute. You can punch it 40 times, you can hold it down until it goes to 40, about 40 and then set it and let go. See it's 40 or 41, okay? And then, then you let go of this clock and then punch it one more time. That's how you set the time and the date. Now let's try set program the controller. When you do that, you push timer button. And then you start set say if you want to want you to go off at 7.30 in the morning, we start, see so you will see this on. That's when the controller will turn on the system. The on time is seven o'clock in the morning. You push it on seven and then push the timer one more time. That tells you to set the time when you want the system to turn off. Now we recommend one minute each spray as the maximum you should go. So now you, you remember you set it on at seven o'clock. So when you want the system to turn off it will be 701. Now this is the first cycle, spray cycle, it just finished. Punch a one, once again, this is the second time you want the timer to kick on, to turn on the program, uh, turn on the unit, second time. So second time say I want it to go off at three o'clock in the afternoon. Now remember I said before this is a military time, so you would have to go all the way to 15 hour. And then punch timer again, 1501 is when you want it to turn off. Basically every time you want it on, you want it to turn on one minute. Now the third time you want it on, say you want it on 430 in the afternoon. So go 1631 is when you want it off. Uh -oh. See, I passed it. It's easy to do. Minute will be on will be 30, off will be 31. And then you do, you set the off time. It will be 16, 31. That's the, you know, the fourth time. Depends on how many times you want this um, system to go off. This program, this controller can allow you to program up to 10 times, 10 sprays a day. Now, next time, you do the week of the day you want it to go off. With the timer, uh, you punch the timer button once to start a program again. See this week? You push it once, there's a preset at every day, seven days a week. 
you push it once, it just every week only Monday goes off. Or every Tuesday, every Wednesday, this is like once a week. Or you can time it at three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Or you can choose only Saturday, Sunday, or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, or Thursday, Friday, Saturday. These are different settings that you desire. Or you can only have to go off during the weekdays, Monday through Friday, or except Sunday, or with every day. So we recommend people just leave it alone, let it go off every day at the time you desire. And after you're done, don't forget to punch clock one more time to save the setting. That's it. What would happen if you want to cancel the cycle you preset before, or if you want to add a cycle you preset before? Basically, you, um, um, reprogram the timer. Now what you do is punch timer button once to turn on the programming mode and then select the cycle you want to cancel. You want to keep number one. I want to cancel number three. Now what I do is when I get to number three, when that's on the on position, I push recall, erase that time, and then I punch time uh, timer again, turn down the off, and then erase that time. So now the time of the cycle number three is completely erased. It will not turn on again at the time at that time. So that's how you cancel one cycle. And then after that, don't forget punch clock button for the system to remember the new setting. That's it. Question. What are these? What do they mean on auto off? Now these are, you can select either setting by punch this button down here. It says auto or manual. Okay. If you punch it once, it'll switch on on. When it's on on position, the system will keep going. It'll turn on the solar mist. It'll spray until you turn it off manually. So if you accidentally turn it on and leave it on, it'll go off until the whole tank is drained and you don't want that. So typically we tell people, just go ahead and put it on auto. Auto means that setting will turn the system on at the time you programmed it. That's it. So just remember, if you set, if you set it on by punching this button, the system will immediately turn on and keep running until you manually turn it off. Now, if you want the system on and off on its own at the preset setting you chose, then you need to put it on auto by pushing this button.